All righty, everybody. Week eight, college football. Big boy righty here. And we got to start it out, you know, by saying the number five team in the country, Ohio State, the Buckeyes, led by Just Fields. You know, Ryan Day and company they're coming out, they're looking to get a good season going, looking to come to the playoff once again. And they have to go up against Nebraska, led by Scott Frost, of course. And, you know, Scott Frost has steadily been improving, you know, Nebraska and things like that. But I don't know if they have enough to keep Ohio State contained. But it's going to be interesting either way to see how that game goes. What in the world Ohio State's going to look like. Because, I mean, aside from fields, you, you know you have a stable of backs. You know you have some wide receivers out there. And you know you have a tough defense. But who are all these names? Who are all these faces? We'll find that out very, very shortly. Because I know Ohio State has to reload like every other team that's elite. Also, at the same time, keep an eye out on Sam Howell and Mac Brown, North Carolina, and those, and those stable backs that they have in their backfield. How are they going to fare against the ranked North Carolina State team? How are they going to fare? How is that going to go? It's going to be very interesting. I'm not going to lie to you. The 330 slate is pretty stacked. You know, you got Alabama, Tennessee. Alabama coming off a big victory against Georgia. Tennessee struggling. And if, and if the narrative has been the way it's been for the past decade or so, to be completely honest, Alabama might just run away with this one. Also at the same time, Notre Dame. Very highly ranked. But are they overrated? I, I honestly do not know. We know Pickett was out last week for Pitt. I don't know if he's going to come back this week, but should be fun. Should be very interesting to see how that game goes. Uh, Penn State, they're opening up on the road against Indiana. How can James Franklin take a very talented team, the team that's been oh, behind Ohio State for several years now? How, how in the world can they, you know, get it on track against an Indiana team that's pretty scrappy? pretty interesting they still have their quarterback Phoenix you know Indiana does and how in the world is that game going to go I don't think I'll be able to watch this one because there's a well, there's a couple more interesting games going on of course my Longhorns are playing Baylor and are we even going to get to play that game against Baylor that's the real question um, for Texas fans are we even going to be able to play Baylor but I'd say keep an eye mostly on Oklahoma State, Iowa State. Now, we remember, you know, a long time ago. Almost, it's been almost 10 years now since Iowa State came in and upset a highly ranked Oklahoma State team. And that Oklahoma State team with Brandon Wheaton, of all teams, could have went to the national championship that year. But now Oklahoma State is on their third string quarterback, and they still have Chuba Hubbard in the backfield. How in the world is that going to go? Well, unless they has played in a little while, so it's been tumultuous to say the least. We were supposed to see them last week, but we didn't get to see Chuba Hubbard in the national spotlight just in case, you know, Georgia, Alabama went kind of wrong, which it did in the second half. Um, and then late, 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 late to wrap it all up. A nice little bow before we talk about something else. Michigan, Minnesota, Joe Milton. There's no Dylan McCaffrey. Joe Milton for Michigan. How in the world is that offense going to do with him at the quarterback? And, you know, Tanner Morgan is still there in Minnesota. Still there with uh, Bateman. I mean, that, that, that combo right there did a good number last year. Michigan, Minnesota, you know, is going to give Michigan a very tough test. I can guarantee you that. Also, at that same time, if we could see them play, because we didn't get to see them play last week, thanks, Tulsa. Um, Cincinnati, SMU, two undefeated 
American conference teams. Unfortunately, this game is relegated to ESPN2 because why not? That's okay. That's okay. That's perfectly fine. Two undefeated teams. Cincinnati's defense has been powerful. You know, SMU has Shane Rochelle, former Texas quarterback who's been throwing up dimes all over the field, up and down the field, all season long. This one is going to be one hell of a game. I can guarantee you that. And that game starts at 9 Eastern. So, you know, that's going to be interesting. You know, that starts half an hour. And or rather 90 minutes after Michigan, Minnesota. So, you know, I'd say put something else on whilst that's going on. Maybe like Boise State or something. You know, because Boise State is indeed you know, a team that's always interesting. But then we have, you know, three treats for Mountain West after dark. And I know BYU is not in the Mountain West anymore. But, I mean, you, you just got to say it. Mountain West after dark, that's what it is. UNLV, San Diego State. San Diego State's supposed to move into a new stadium in a couple years that I know of. Air Force, who last time we saw them three weeks ago, just put a beating on Navy. Put a beating on them. And they'll be taking on San Jose State. And, you know, the Mountain West has a new deal with Fox. So, you know, there's going to be a lot of games on FS1. A lot of games on FS2, actually, too. Which is crazy, considering, you know, FS2 is like a dead channel. Like, nobody, like, who even watches that channel? But, yeah. Mountain West After Dark. Should be interesting. Those games start at 9.30 Central Time, 10.30 on the East Coast. So, let's say Cincinnati SMU got out of hand. Let's say Michigan, Minnesota gets out of hand. We got some Mountain West after dark for you on this beautiful, you know, Saturday before, you know, Halloween. So what I think this week is going to show us is what in the world is the Big Ten going to look like. There's already a big matchup. There's already several big matchups in the Big Ten. You know, what can what can Oklahoma State do? Are they legit? Is is Notre Dame, you know, overrated, or are they not? You know, these are things. These are lots of questions we need to find out. And we're gonna find them out very, very soon. I can guarantee you that. What can Joe Milton do? You know, for Michigan, is Minnesota still very, very good? Is Ohio State, you know, are they really number five? Because I don't think they're number five. They're more like number three. In the country right now and that's mostly because they haven't played yet so yeah but that being said everybody big boy variety out i'll see you after monday night football